Hey kids, we are so glad you're joining us today. We are gonna stand up and we are gonna worship together. So I want all of you on your feet and let's sing some songs to our God about how great he is. Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. 
and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to a village called Emmaus and talking about everything that had happened with Jesus. As they were talking, Jesus suddenly came and walked with them. Oh, hello. But God kept them from recognizing Jesus. Jesus asked them what they were talking about. The two men were very sad. One of them, whose name was Cleopas, said, You must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there in the last few days. Uh. Jesus asked, What things? The men replied, The things that happened to Jesus. And they began to tell Jesus about everything that had happened to him. They told him that some women had gone to his tomb and said that his body was missing and that others had gone to see if it was true and saw that his body really was gone. Then Jesus said to them, You foolish people! You find it so hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Uh, let me explain. Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus, Jesus acted as if he was continuing on. Hey, wait! But the men begged him to stay the night with them because it was getting late. Come with us! Oh, okay. So Jesus went home with them, and as they sat down to eat, Jesus blessed the bread. Then he broke the bread and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were open, and they recognized Jesus. It's you! And at that moment, he disappeared. Where'd he go? The men said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he explained the scriptures to us? Come on! And that hour, they made their way back to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and the others who were with them and told them their story. As they were telling their story, Jesus was suddenly standing among them. Well, that's all what happened. Yep. Ah! Everyone was frightened and thought he was a ghost. Okay, come on, guys. But Jesus showed that it was really him. He showed them his hands and feet, and they all watched him in awe. Then Jesus asked for something to eat. Oh, got anything to eat? And they gave him fish to eat. Oh, that's good. Jesus reminded them that everything happened as it was supposed to and helped them understand the scriptures. Then he promised to send them the Holy Spirit and told them to stay in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit would come and fill them with the power from heaven. Okay, everybody, it's time for our new verse. It's a little bit of a long one, so I've got my Bible. I'm gonna read it to you first. Are you ready? Here it is. You are saved by grace through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift not from works so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. All right, now let's try to say it all together. Stand up and let's say it. You are saved by grace through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Great job, everybody. I'm really proud of you. I know that we can get this verse because it's a really, really important one. Every step of my feet 
before me in all my adventures and guide every step of my feet. I will not fear, I will not be shaken. You hold everything. No, I will not fear, I will not. Treasured by the one who loves me. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I am treasured, treasured, treasured by the one who loves me. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I am treasured, treasured, treasured by the one who loves me. I am treasured, treasured, treasured by the one who loves me. Promises, hey, I can count on all of the promises my God promised me. so amazing that the whole Bible from beginning to end really all works together to tell one big story about God's love for us. Guys, you've watched, you've listened, and you've learned, so go change your world. Oh.